Welcome to debugging CSS. We all knew we'd end up here because just like with HTML, debugging CSS takes such a great deal of patience, such a good eye, and is one of the most important parts of coding. CSS errors can be hard to notice because the browser will often go ahead and render your code just without it being displayed in the way that you want. Incorrect CSS can lead to problems throughout your code base, so it's incredibly important that you isolate and look for problems before you build bigger websites. So let's take a quick look together at some of the most common CSS bugs. As a quick reminder, bugs are what we consider issues in our code. So anything that's an error or anything that's causing behavior other than what's expected is called a bug. So debugging, then, is the process of going through our code to find those places where the errors are, removing those bugs so that everything can rock on. So here I have set up some CSS code that has some of the most common errors. Take a look before I talk about it just to see if you can see any with your eye. So here in the box class, you'll see that I'm missing a colon between the position, which is the property, and the value, which is absolute. It's always important to make sure that the syntax is property, colon, value, semicolon. Now here, in the ID 1, I'm missing a semicolon after the color red. This line looks good. This line looks good. Something's funny here. Oh. I've misspelled or misnamed a property, which is one of the things that happens all the time. Because it's not always intuitive what you want something to do versus what it actually is. So while Z index is what I'm going for, the way that CSS understands Z index is Z hyphen index. It's these little errors that can make debugging a little difficult. So here you'll see the issue is that this, too, is not prep-ended with either the class or ID sign of a period or a hash. So it's supposed to be a type, but HTML doesn't have a type called two. It has a list. It has an image, a button, an input, a text area. It has all sorts of things. But two is nothing. If I wanted it to be the ID two, I could do that. If I wanted it to be the class two, I could do that. But two on its own will do nothing. Three, on the other hand, is a perfectly valid ID. And this perfectly valid ID wants to have a background of blue. But in fact, I have misspelled it so that it has a background of blue, which is nothing, unfortunately, because B-L-U-U-E is not a color that the browser will recognize. Blue. This is an example of how you would debug CSS. Now, good luck on your own. 